Welcome to the Waymo Gonzo Podcast. We are live on April 9th, 2024. Coming to you with episode 102. Five, four, four, three, three, two, one, one. You're tuning in live, cocksuckers. We are back. We are fucking here. It is a beautiful fucking Wednesday. We're here. Uh, no, it's a Tuesday. It's a Tuesday. We're I got queer. cut off guard. But we're here. We're live, and we're fucking flowing. I got 30 seconds to talk about this next segment, so that's all you get. That's all we get. That's all I get. We're talking about the solar eclipse. It came. It went. It's gone. It was pretty crazy. We got camera footage. We got fucking all of the live updates from it. It was literally like it was dusk. You know, not dawn, but dusk. It was like it was dusk outside. It was crazy when it came into effect. You know, like the couple minutes leading up to it, it looked like you had sunglasses on without having sunglasses on. Like it was like an HD effect. You know, like you got some polarized shades on, but... Lots of people gathered around the Cincinnati area to head up north, to head up out west towards either Indianapolis or towards Dayton to go catch it. And uh, it was a very wild thing. And we all got to experience it. It was cool. And that's all I got. Fuck that segment. Yeah. Boom. Because I'm over the solar eclipse already. We talked, everyone, the world talked about it enough the past <laughs> month or two. Get your glasses. And when it happened, I didn't care. My house is dark now. Why is it dark? The apocalypse is upon us. But that's enough for that segment, Cameron. Welcome back to the Whammo Gonzo <laughs> podcast. We're here. We're running on fucking one battery today, so we Eight. might it might not even we might have to redo the whole thing. So damn, we'll see. that's like me playing Xbox. Like I'm too lazy to buy more double A's or get rechargeable batteries. I just got the fucking USB C plugged into my controller now. It's like an old time fucking video game controller. I just always got it wired like this microphone. It's just like wires always. Like Damn, I swear bro. I want to blame my death on that wire. Might just get some double A's tonight to fucking, you know, relax. Yeah, there ain't nothing worse. Or when you're getting hot and sweaty and your hoodie's too hot and you got to take that motherfucker off, you know what I mean? Well, like, it just happens, you know, you, you got some back You don't want to take it all the way all off. All the way off. Like, nah, I'm it's kind of like a style. It's like, I'm good. It's like some European fashion. But yeah, where are we on today? Man, we got the hood up. That's like we on bullshit <laughs> today. <laughs> <laughs> what are we on today, boys? Oh, man. God, it's hotter than fucking pissing here. I, that, I was back sweating. I had to take my jacket off and undo, undo a couple buttons. I was fucking... And back sweat. Reminds me of a wet back, I know. Ugh. There ain't nothing worse than when you fucking wake up from your sleep and you're fucking stuck to the mattress. You're like... <laughs> Bro, it's bad. Dude, what's... You, uh, you ever had one of them recently? Uh, actually, yeah, last night I woke Dang. up sweaty as shit. That, dude, that is the worst thing ever when you wake up and your bed's soaked. It's just fucking disgusting. You feel like ick. It's kind of fun. I don't know. Sometimes I like pull the blankets up more to sweat extra. <laughs> kind of like, like yeah. mini sauna. <laughs> yeah. Especially when you're drinking, you're just like, get the demons out of me. Damn. It's like speed, speeding up it. Yeah. Speeding up it. <laughs> what are we thinking about, Nate? What is the that? The fuck is this? I don't Pet even. sweat. <laughs> is that squirt or sweat? Damn. I got a you question. tell me. Have you ever been with a chick that actually squirt? No, I can't say. I can't say. No, I think you got to be, dog, you got to, you fucking got to use your hands, your mouth. Nate, I need, I need a Jamie moment, Nate. It ain't just we, like, we she need, don't just squirt from, bro, from penetration. What is you gotta squirt? I think it's Search urine. it up. And what, I'm not talking about the energy what drink What percentage is uh, urine? Yeah, is squirt urine? Just type in that. Is squirt urine? Give us what it says. It's like 70% pee or something like that. But I mean, it makes cone. you feel good as a guy. You're like, yeah, I made her squirt. She just really pissing on you. <laughs> <laughs> she got excited like the dog. <laughs> you ever had a little puppy dog? That motherfucker just starts pissing. Yeah. What's happening? The yeah, it's just uh, fluid coming from the bladder. <laughs> That's fucking fluid. <laughs> they didn't say what type of fluid, just fluid. Uh, I think. Could be Mountain Dew, could be coffee. That's what I'm it's thinking. The, could be fucking smearing off. involuntary emission of urine. Involuntary emissions. Dang. Like it's an airplane or some shit. <laughs> 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 fucking vapor trails and shit. <laughs> so so is, is it pee or is it not pee? 
<laughs> it is pee. I think it is. It's got some pee. So they in just it. can't control it. Yeah. So it's it. mystery fluid mixed with pee. That's what it yeah, is. Yeah, it's a little juice. It's like they got an extra tank in their <laughs> body <laughs> just for squirting, <laughs> bro. Man, the female body's kind of weird. Not gonna lie. <laughs> An extra tank. <laughs> what the fuck? Like a reserve tank just to squirt. <laughs> like a military vehicle. I want to watch a barstool video on uh, his squirt pee. Put the mic oh, he'll tell you. from KFC Radio. KFC Radio. Damn. KFC Yum Center, Louisville, Kentucky, <laughs> motherfucker. Where the cards play. So science set out to once and for all answer the question with a scientific experiment, is squirt pee? It's yeah. called the Enhanced Visualization of Female Squirting, and it was done by these fucking weird doctors over in Japan. So <laughs> what did they do? How did the experiment work? It took five females, not sex workers, two in their 30s, two in their 40s, one in their 50s. They took a catheter, inserted it into their bladder, completely emptied them of all their urine. They then hmm. took indigo dye and put it back into their bladder so that their pee would be colored blue. And then... They fucked them. Fuck. They fucked them. <laughs> they fingered them. Now these were the results. First of all, in all five cases, the girls were able to squirt. Shout out to that chick in her 50s. Don't ever let your girlfriend be like, I didn't know how to squirt. Also, shout out to the male participants. They got the fucking job done. Talk. <laughs> Talk. <Dog. laughs> I need a Zen <laughs> pouch or something. <laughs> Blue. Meaning, that's a whole lot of urine. Meaning, it's got to be pee, right? Not so fast, my friends. There was also PSA positive. What does that mean? PSA means prostate-specific antigen. Now, females have that's that. Is that? It's cum. It's female cum. Dude, female, thanks for pulling female that up, Female ejaculate. Yeah, Prostate so it, it is mostly urine. Dudes. It's like he said, uh, like Dang. the first Google search. It's like 70%, 80% urine. And then there's also some mystery goo in there. Mystery goo. You know, like how the female vagina self-lubricates. Like yeah. how it said it's got its own There's prostate. different types, though. It's like there's the gruel, and then there's the squirt. Damn. The gruel is like the cummy looking stuff, like it's fucking like snotty, you know. I never got. I think I've seen that more than the squirt. I oh don't yeah, know, bro. I mean, dude, I girl, I feel like girls right. just be lying to dudes. They'll just piss on you and be like, ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I just fucking came so hard, bro. I mean, that gets deep. That's yeah. like that Mac Miller lyric. It's like, you never know if your girl love you or whatever Bruh. she say. Like to fall in love is like an orgasm because you never, never know, know if she fake it. Damn. It's like, bro, she could have just been pissing Literally. on you the whole and time. And girls do that, like, just to flex to their friends. Like, uh, yeah, I just pissed on him. <laughs> <laughs> we be in a group check in roast. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, like, showing off his bed to his friends where it's just got piss stains. He's like, he's yeah, like, I made a squirt. Cause. And then the one friend's like, Ooh, why the fuck didn't you wash it yet? He's like, yeah. I mean, it's a vibe, No, the white friend, he'll be like, bro, you know squirt is actually 80% urine. And then Like, the shut your white ass up. <laughs> It's always a dude with long hair who's like, it's cool. They're war zone homie. Damn. He ain't even like homies homies. He's just like Nine. in the group chat. <laughs> Bro, it's the only, like, you never see him. It's like horns be do us. Damn. You just never see him. <laughs> and I know he ain't going to hear this, so we can just cap on him cap. all day. <laughs> but wow, what a fucking way to start. Oh, yeah. I, I know the women stopped listening, so we just got like, the boys oh here now. I don't even think many. I don't know. I don't know. I don't 10% know. 10% of our listeners are women. Dang. And it's probably just your woman. Dang. And I don't I don't know. It's probably that and the mysterious. Yeah, fucking, the mysterious. And the and the, the past one. <laughs> yeah. Probably that still too. chimes in. Yeah. Bro, the only like, girls that listen are girls that, that are, we used to date, and they're trying to like keep tabs on <laughs> us. <laughs> Let's hope not. But That's yeah. Some shit. <laughs> yeah, I just that swallowed. Like a, a, <laughs> I just swallowed a big ga- ga- goop of fucking. That sounded Z. like a, one dude we know when he would hit a fucking swisher. <laughs> it's like his like thirty seven thousand swisher of Dog. his life. It's like. <laughs> <sighs> so what's? I don't want to ask. What's been going on in the world besides the solar eclipse? I mean, like anybody keeping up on Facebook or something? I don't know. It's like just like how everything goes. It's like you know. I mean, if it's the world oh, we're talking the, about, the or Drake, Cincinnati, the Drake and 
No, the Kendrick and J. Cole beef. Yeah, what? so what happened? I mean, this is like the Cat Williams shit yeah. of like years, a year so and a half ago. So what happened, right? Metro Boomin drops the Future album. Kendrick's on a song. I think the song's called Like That. And basically, Kendrick just went off. Oh, he he was dissing Drake. He wasn't even re- He sort of was like, I'm the top one out of three. Sort of dissed J. Cole. But he was like... For all the dogs getting buried. So that was obviously a Drake diss. And Drake didn't answer back. He was just doing some little like fruity Instagram captions. Hanging out with Sexy Red mostly. Mm-hmm. And uh, and then J. Cole drops this, uh, drops this surprise mixtape. And the last song on it, I forget what it's called. Or Seven Minute Drill is what it's called. Dang. And uh, he basically, he didn't say Kendrick's name. But he, you know, he was capping on him. And then he had a concert. What did he say to Cap on Kendrick? Like, how did he mm. anonymously call out Kendrick? What Jamie, we'd say? have to pull up the lyrics yeah, for that. Pull up the lyrics. Yeah. But uh, it's got to be like, you comped a fake. Uh, seven minute drill. Um, it wasn't nothing serious, but J. Cole had a concert a few days ago, and he was just like, yeah, my bad. I'm for real. Like, I'm not. He's like, he's like, I regret putting that song out. Like, he was like apologizing on stage. Like, He's like, I know my homie's going to call me a bitch for this, but I don't care. Damn. So, like, half of the hip-hop world's like, yeah, you a bitch. And Damn. then ha- the other half's like, nah, he good. He apologized. He's, He's worse straight. than Wale. So then, B. Diddy. So then, uh, I mean, that's basically the extent of it. He just apologized after, he, like, a week of the song being out. Not even. But, nah, Drake, or uh, Kendrick came way harder. And Kendrick is the GOAT. And that uh, seven minute drill here, some of the lyrics. Is like, your first shit was classic. Yes. Your last shit was tragic. Your second shit put neighbors to sleep, but they gassed it. Your third shit was massive, and that was your prime. I was trailing right behind, and I just now hit mine. Are we on Rap Genius? Yeah. What was he referring to as his first project? Uh, probably Good Kid Mad, C- Mad City. Was it? Yeah. That was his first album. Yeah. I guess so. See, I'm thinking it's got section. The eight. I'm thinking section eighty. Second, second shit would have been damn. Or no, good pimp a butterfly. Pimp a butterfly. Mm. Then damn. Third shit, yeah, it was damn. And then this new one, big steppers. Yeah. Apparently that one wasn't wasn't so good. But uh, meet, said, yeah, he said I'm now I'm front of the line with a comfortable lead. Yeah. They tried to cap on Kendrick for not dropping enough music. Mm. It's like it took you he went through it a took lot you five years to drop slow. an album. Yeah. Like, yeah, bro, that's because it's quality over quantity. Drake just dropped four albums and they're like mediocre at best. Yeah. So Kendrick drops an album, it's like instant classic because he spent time on it. Let's not forget it's almost ten years since Frank Ocean dropped, but that's neither here nor there. Nice. Damn near since 2018, since ASAP Rocky dropped, but his excuse is he's working on beats and perfecting the craft, so no one's going to talk shit. Plus, he's got Rihanna. No one's going to talk shit. Mm. He even had to make a song, That's My Bitch, just so the world knew, like, yeah, that's my bitch. But there's your uh, hip-hop corner for today. What do you think about that? Yeah, I don't really have much else to say. I mean, my, my ass is like, I don't know. I've kind of like... I kind of like, I, it was weird. When I used to smoke weed, I used to be really up on the music. Like, really up, like, when shit's dropping, when, mm. who just drops. It's because everybody's whack nowadays. Yeah, like, Shit I kind of lost, I kind of fell off. And I don't know when that happened to me in my life. I really don't, because I used to, like, really stay up with it. Before COVID? I guess. Bro, what happened in those four years, like 2020 to now? Oh, I mean, I we talked like about it on here. That with shit like the, just like clipped. When we chopped it up with K Sosa, we talked about how COVID fucked up all the live concerts, the underground scene, and obviously it stemmed a lot of other shit like that we're talking about right this second. But but those four years flew by. Like, what the fuck? Even oh, happened? yeah. Oh, dude. Can you believe that? No. Like, it was yesterday. We were chilling in a Fallout 76 That's lobby just to saying. hang out. Yeah, just to hang Hanging out. out in the game. Just to hang out. So we in the were game. on quarantine, bro. Can you believe that was four years? No, I can't. I just don't know how it flew so fast. One more for the really mic. fucks me up. That that's what's fucking me up. Oh yeah, that's a wild thing. But yeah, that's uh, that's the rap world. You got P Diddy being accused of things now. 
Meek Mill being accused of homosexuality. Oh, I seen that. When it, well, Garrett, I, like, what was the lyric? I kind of want to say it. Search, you can search, James, but, but like, what, what was it? It was like, Which it one? was like, like it was like his hardest song, Meek Mill gay lyrics. Just type that in. Dude, I think his most popular song where it's like nightmares and whatever, yeah. dreams and nightmares or whatever. He's like. Anytime or something, he says something like "suck them off." Yeah, or talking something. about yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody knew what they yeah. were. Like, yeah. yeah, they were. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he is gay though, but he. No. Nah. When you hang out with Diddy, you do get a little like call each other daddy. Like that's borderline. That's borderline. You don't just call your homie daddy. Like, that's weird. I'm not playing anything into the mic, but it's like I'm on the explore shit of like, all right. New releases. I click on my thing. Oh, it looks like Lil Wayne just dropped a single with w- w- Lil Wayne, W H E E Z Y. Wheezy. Wheezy. Wheezy out of here. Producer. Uh, oh, and Young Thug. Damn. So he just dropped the thing, and Young Thug's still in jail, right? It's probably mm-hmm. an old verse. He's been locked yeah. up for like three years now, right? Damn. He probably has. Hey. Yeah, he just dropped he's that. Too. I don't know when he dropped it. Oh, it looks like Suicide Boys just dropped a single. I got to listen to that. That's the rap world for you people. This thing's got me twitching already. Oh, Meek Mill just dropped a new song with Tafia. <laughs> just saying like he's not gay, probably. <laughs> probably, yeah. Mexican OT dropped a new song with Max O Cream. He's big and popping now. How's everyone how's everyone know him? Does he got a hit? Yeah, Mexican OT. What's his, his song? one song, Johnny Dang. Johnny just like Dang. Johnny Dang. Louis Vuitton. That's like the song. Oh, <laughs> <he's> like a, <laughs> yeah. Johnny Dang. It's like yeah. a Mexican from like Texas country guy. Mexican yeah, well, Texas. that's where Max right. Cream's from. Oh, Jeezy just dropped the song Yacht Master. I've heard that's pretty hard. I've seen that on his page. So that must be going pretty fucking good. But we're supposed to be a post Malone. I never see. Wallen I never do song. this. I never Morgan go through Wallen. the new releases on on YouTube Music. Looks like Rio De Young OG just dropped. Yo. We got we got to just play like a snippet because that's real. <laughs> With Mike. Niggas wearing all this fake drip, but it look nice. Muddy ass pop, I need a little ice. Stuff a Afy in the backwood just to pull a right drunk. Afy. They know it. They're, Rio's still on that shit. Still Rio's in jail, though. He's in the P. I so think. they had to drop it. Just like the Wheezy with Young Thug had to drop Damn. it. But yeah. Shout out. What's it? RMC Mike? Is that his yep. name? Yeah. Yeah. RMC Mike looks like uh, Phoenix Flex and just dropped another song. That's a a member of Shoreline Mafia. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's kind of just some like that's probably copyrighted, so we can't copyrighted, mm-hmm. so we can't. But it was less than ten seconds. But we can play Rio because I feel like his shit just like no, nah, that's Rio. Cooking Soul dropped some new shit with the Mussolini. Oh, oh shit! A whole album dropped. MGK. Trippy and fucking Ray. Trippy Red. Yeah, but Trippy kind of sucks, though. The, John, the album is called Genre Sad Boy. Sad Boy. They're copying off Young Lean. Yeah, Young Lean created Young Sad Lee. Boy. So that's some shit right there. I don't know how I really feel about that. I've heard MGK is like going through a lot trying to deal with sobriety. Bro, look up his new tattoos. <laughs> he's got black like, now. he's all black now, basically. Really? He covered up all his tats in black. Just like thick black. I've seen people that do that. They're he's, like armless. Yeah. Be black for like a portion. Yeah, he's like, I'm black now. He's like, I'm part black. Damn. I respect MGK though, but Trippy just sucks. Like, it I looks, try and listen to it. It looks like I the most can't. plays was on their number one song, Lost Boys. I yeah, that was the single. It's like, uh. Yep, yep. Exactly as I heard from a co worker, MGK is dealing with his sobriety. He's on drugs. Yeah, but aren't they all? Yeah, yeah, and uh, that's that's about it for really. Oh, Cook and Soul dropped another one with Young Beef. Never heard of Young Beef. Cruz Cafoon. Oh no! All right, let's get out of the rap corner. We've done enough. Yeah, we're out of it. So that's uh, that's the music kind of going the on. Music vibe. That's, that's the, the music, music vibe. Bit. We're seeing who's still alive. I'm still, still going. Alive. Yeah. So that's pretty pretty nice. 
I don't know what else is really popping lately. I'm trying I mean, to think. You've been on Facebook though. You know what's popping. I mean, uh, I don't know. I've yet to. Uh, what's the? Uh, I don't. We we got to get our sports heads in here, like my brother Alex. You know what I mean? Catch up with him. He already knows this by the time we're talking about. What's the? What's the Reds? Um, what's the Reds? Uh, what's their place right now? Well, the Reds had a fucking. It was a crazy game last night. They ended up winning, ten to eight. But uh, I think they were up like eight to zero. Mm. They let Milwaukee come back. <laughs> Fucking they, eight but runs. But they beat them. But the the thing that was the uh, so they the big up. news was uh, Ellie De La Cruz. He hit a home run, four hundred and fifty feet. Mm. It's like is that by the tundra? Yeah, it was. It was like halfway up that boat Holy in shit. center field. And then he had an inside the park home run. Mm. There's two home runs in the ten, uh, on the day, and he's a switch hitter. And both of them came awesome. from different sides of the plate. Damn! So I was like, Ella, that means he fucking he hits left and right handed. Yeah, that's mm. fucking. And he's like the fastest Ooh. player in the. He's he's, he's our best he's player. Best. Yeah, he's, he's our best player. Yeah, he's top three fastest players in the league, and he's like one of the youngest players too. So we're lucky to have him. Yeah, mm. he's the team. Yep. Damn. I mean, that's got my that's got my sports betting itch right now. Like, who should I bet on for a home run tonight? Parlay. If you want a, a good Cruz. bet, bet uh, bet him like uh, steal a before base. the season. Yeah, you should have done. I was gonna bet like uh, over fifty or sixty stolen bases for the year. Damn, you can bet like futures like yeah. that. That's pretty hype. That's a pretty good bet as long as he stays healthy. I feel like he'll hit that. You know, I've still have yet to go to the new Bet MGM bar. It's right Same. across from the ballpark. They got a bet MGM bar. I can bet from If only my had phone. they had slots in them, motherfucker. Well, the table the standings, games. <laughs> they're in third place in their in the uh in the NL Central right now, but I mean uh they're six and four right now and the Pirates are in the lead. What's Pirates at? They're nine and three, which is pretty surprising because Pirates yeah. are usually uh They're coming back the on that Doc Holloway shit or whatever. <laughs> Damn. Jeez. Does anybody know you know what the story of Doc Holloway is, Tyler? No. Okay, so he's the uh, James. You want to you want to read the Doc Holloway? Just a quick a, a script of it. Is it Doc Ellis? Doc Ellis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget who Doc Holloway is. I'm fucking. Wait, I don't. No hitter off LSD. <laughs> Damn, that's what he did. Yeah. And he just told everyone like I'm on acid right now. Well, see, the story I think is he wasn't expected to play that day. So he's like, we going <laughs> to take a tag. We'll get turned, turned up. Like, this is back in, what, the 70s or some like, shit? They're like, brother, you got to play tonight. And he's like, yeah. fuck. He's <laughs> 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 tripping dick. <laughs> Can't imagine playing baseball off that shit. Bro, just especially Major League That's Baseball. What I'm saying. With the shit. crowd packed, you're just like tripping dicks. <laughs> Did he end up hitting a home run or something? <laughs> Motherfucking crowds looking like we players in the fucking crowd. <laughs> Literally. <stands. laughs> so, uh, yeah, here, here's the story. It was in uh, 1970. Um, this is some after shit. After the Pirates had flown to San Diego on Thursday, June 11th, Ellis visited a friend in L.A. and used LSD two <laughs> or three times, thinking <laughs> it was still Thursday. He took a hit of LSD on Friday at noon, and his friend's girlfriend reminded him at 2 p.m. that he was scheduled to pitch that night. He was just <laughs> kicking in. <laughs> Ellis flew from L.A. to San Diego. Bro. Damn, he had to catch a flight. <laughs> oh, shit, let me get my bag. <laughs> <laughs> he was seeing stars in that pitch. <laughs> so he took the LSD at noon, and he had to pitch at 6 o'clock. He's a pitcher? Yeah. So he was busy all game just throwing balls off the acid tabs. He said he, said he threw the no hitter despite being able to, being unable to feel the ball or see the batter or catcher <laughs> clearly. <laughs> he said the catcher had to put reflective tape on his fingers <laughs> for him to be able to see. <laughs> he, well, he did. He struck. He he got a no hitter, but he still walked eight batters. Jeez. Just think about the catcher. Like, why do you want me to put this tape in my glove? I kind of want to see that. Like, him throwing off the acid. Like, just a video. He just had to go off muscle memory. Like, I 
I guess Can later later in shit? his later in his career, he said he regretted taking LSD that day Obviously. because it robbed him of his greatest professional memory. So, because everyone talks about the Dang. LSD part. Yeah, this happened in the seventies. Yep. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say, why is he taking acid? But if it's nineteen seventy, why not? Why not? Yep, <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> he woke up like it's nineteen seventy. <laughs> Listen to the fucking no, he Pink woke Floyd. Up the next day, like, what happened? I mean, cut shit. I don't even know. <laughs> Could have been worse. LSD is more of like an upper, so he was just chilling. It wasn't like he was perked out or nothing. <laughs> oh, he was arrested in uh, Cincinnati. Cincinnati. In Went to the justice center, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> the red suit him. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yeah. For what? A uh, security guard at Riverfront Stadium asked uh, asked him for I identification. He said, "I'm on the team." <laughs> but, but he didn't have uh, his ID on him. What? Um, the gu the guard said he was he did not identify himself. Appeared drunk and made threatening gestures oh, with the close what? with the closed fist. And then he showed his World Series ring as evidence. Bro, he's like, I'm on the team. Uh, and then the guard maced him. <laughs> <laughs> he was arrested and tried to disorderly put the I can already see like a Securitas type motherfucker. Like, nah, ah, you ain't getting in. Just Damn, River and then Coliseum like before Great bubble. American Ballpark. And then later later that season, uh, the Pirates, Pirates won the NL East <laughs> and faced the Reds and the NLCS. The Pirates used him in one of the games, but mm. uh, the Reds won the series. That's an addict. So he's so been a bit of an issue then. A <laughs> <laughs> bit of an issue for the team. <clears throat> Dang. I mean, that's like that's probably one of the most like legendary, other than like Woodstock, you know, when Jimi Hendrix and Carlos Santana were tripping mm. dick playing at Woodstock. I mean, that's some shit right there too. I mean, I, I don't know what the story. I, I got to know about it too. We got to let the viewers know yeah. the official. We'll James, tap into is it true that the avatar? I don't, I don't know how I would word it, but it's, I would kind of word it along the lines of like: Is it true that Jimi Hendrix sliced open his forehead and put tab on his forehead or like liquid LSD on it? I think that was a myth. Yeah, it was like in his headband or something. They like he dripped it on the headband. And, Slid open his head, or I don't know what the fuck. Probably the least of what he's done. Oh, yeah. I thought, uh. I think it's a myth, uh. That a lot of his members of his family insist, long insisted that he never took any drugs or anything. Oh, they're like, he good. He didn't yeah. do nothing bad. He was a good boy in I don't school. Think there's Purple any rain. Evidence. <laughs> That's print. <laughs> oh, shit. Purple haze. <laughs> hey, Joe. Oh, yeah. Where you going with that gun in your hand? Dun, 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 dun. Definitely a legend guitarist, we'll say. Didn't he play with his tongue a couple times just to get weird? I think that was like Gene Simmons. I don't know. I think they was. all kind of just licked off mm -hmm. the guitar. They're That's like, play a lick. He's like, I don't know. Bro, like can you believe? Women. Isn't it crazy how like you know like like rock and roll died? It's the only yeah. classic rock that's alive now. It's like it'll never be the same. Like same with rap. It'll die eventually. You think rap is dead, bro? It's done. You think it's dead? What's the next genre we're gonna get hit with? We got this. You know how it's like got they, this trap like, shit. Now. Like if I if I run the timeline of music down, right? We look at it. Back in the 40s, jazz was created by the black community. B.B. King and them. Now, that was like, I think, fifth, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure the jazz era was created by the blacks. And that was created like yeah. a, like a, that was like a bad music back then. Like once the whites started Dang. listening to jazz, yeah. they were like, you're a bad person. Yeah. So you're playing jazz in the house. Yeah. Your yeah. parents would be like, turn that shit off. <laughs> They'd be like, turn that shit off, Johnny. <laughs> And then it's like it expanded then in the 50s and the, or the 60s. Then it came the hippie shit. And then the 70s, rock and roll. Fucking, well, 60s had rock and roll. But like, you know, I mean, 70s rock, classic rock, that one music. You had like the the different types of rock. And then like 80s was like metal. Came to Damn. heavy rock and yeah, metal. heavy. And then 90s, 90s was like fucking. Gangster rap. 
Yeah, then you started getting to the gangster. Well, you rap had like era. the Nirvana, but you also had the NWA, mm-hmm. the Ice Cubes, the and, Soup Pop. And then we like progressed in rap, and then now you expanded into different types of rap. Like you know, you had your drill rap from Chicago, mm-hmm. you got loud rap. Yeah, you got your Detroit rap. It's like Rio, <laughs> and then you got like you know your like SoundCloud rap. Mm-hmm. You got your Playboy Cardi rap, like puppy, puppy. <laughs> that's what i mean it's all fucked right now. yeah now it's like what else is left? like all we have now is the kendrick all we have for rap is like kendrick j cole yeah and drake's like doing his own little pop star shit over yeah. here yeah no one's got the bars anymore except for the select few that's what i'm saying it's uh but what 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 is the next span of music what are we gonna get hit with next it's like, you know, we're not really those type of like... We're in the cloud rap era. It's not like a... Cause we, Uzi, we're not like we're a, in the Uzi Vert era. That's what it is. Damn. The, and those guys, they'll make a song in one hour and be like, nah, it's done. And then they'll just post it like it's done. P- drugs. I guess drugs have always been in music, but yeah. now it's just like they get faded. They're like, nah, that's a hit. It's it's good. We're posting it. It's all mediocre shit. But yeah. That's pretty crazy. Uh, see, that's what I'm saying. What's the next span going to be? Or are we done? Everything's kind of mediocre now. Movies, TV, it's all just reboots, Yeah, that's, that's something I'd have to tap in. The movies are fucking trash nowadays. The old, the, nothing was going to ever compare to no. old movies. We're talking about making a Happy Gilmore too. That's just which gonna is just going to be a Hollywood bro. fucking just to make more money. Exactly. That's just all to it get is. A box office just a to reboot make, of a reboot of a yeah. Reboot. They tried Nothing to remake original. Ghostbusters. They tried to remake fucking Willy Wonka again. Mm. They may tried to remake. I mean, all of them. There's a whole universe for uh, King Kong and Godzilla now. I just saw the new one. They're like. There's like uh, portals that they have to jump through the, to get to the center of the earth. It's like a hollow earth now. And there's like a whole environment down there. What? <laughs> See, they can't, they can't just keep shit simple anymore. It's like, yeah, you got to go to the metaverse now. Yeah. yeah, everything's mediocre. Everything's just like half-baked nowadays. Mm. So I can't think of one thing that's like really artistic anymore. It's Man, I was remakes. I was watching Ferris Bueller the other night. Just had to turn it on. I haven't seen it for many years. You know what I mean? And the part that was hitting me pretty hard was like, uh, just like when they were in the art museum in Chicago, right? Like actual physical art, right? That's like in a gallery. And just like, you know, it takes like for a long time. It's like how I used to like, we talked about how I used to view like journaling. I thought journaling was a diary. You know, then I got like, you know, damn, this is pretty nice. It helps me keep stuff, you know, on the page. But it's like art I used to kind of view as dumb, and I still kind of view it as dumb a little bit. You know, I don't have that really appreciation for it. Like my buddy Michael, he loves art. You know what I mean? He was went to the UC DAP program. He loves art. Oh, But it's like, what, what the hell is like, you know, like what other than like, to me, when I just think of someone that's going to DAP, it's like, cool, you're going to design a web page for a company. You know, or you're gonna design I don't logos. Think so. It's like what? what? I don't think that's what they do. No, but like well, that's what. Like what else? They do can, actual art. That's fucking. I understand murals and shit. Design, yeah. But like architecture, art, architecture, art, planning, design. Thing with art is just like anything's art. Like I can take a piss right here, take a picture of it, and be like, that's art. Yeah. It's just like free expression. Mm. So really, like, sure. I mean. Art's kind of like the music of today. It's like, it's art. It's no, bro. You just fucking poop. Like, you know what I mean. You knew some art people. There's like art people, you know, that are just like their life. They're like artsy fartsy. I don't. You never knew anybody from I wish I did. Altiora High? Mm-mm. I know a guy who's good at drawing. My homie. Yeah. But like, I don't know. I just think art, I'm thinking of like Andy Warhol. You know what? Yeah. This type of vibe. Or like Pablo Picasso. That's like old shit. Van Gogh. Mm-hmm. 
all the all the legends, all the classics. Mm. You know, Michelangelo. But nowadays, yeah, you modern art, contemporary contemporary art. art that's, look up all the art movements. Is that what they're called? Like there was, like from the Renaissance era. Up. Yeah, look up all the art movements. Cause right now we're in contemporary. Before it, it was before that it was postmodern or modern. Because now the only like artist I think of today is like Banksy. He's just like a joker. Yeah, but he's just like spray paid shit, don't he? He makes like shit that disintegrates, mm. like shreds itself. That's yeah, like a whole nother realm. What is it? Postmodern. What do they call that? The art, the art movement. Especially here in the city, you know what I mean. People get really involved, especially like down there in the Washington Park. What happens down there? I mean, there's always things in the summertime with art and shit. It's always type of different it's events. It's contemporary right now? Right now. So it was uh, ancient art. Mm. It was like the first thing like uh, before 800 BC. Damn. Damn. They were just sculpting shit. I feel like before that was cave drawings and shit. Yep. And then after that, Had from 800 thing. BC to 1900 AD. It went Greek, Roman, then religious, medieval, and scientific renaissance. Or net. I can't even say half of these words. Yeah, renaissance Logical, is where shit popped Classical, off. passionate, romantic, precise, realistic. Uh, and then 1900 to present was uh, eclectic modern art. And then contemporary. Eclectic modern art. That was a good era for art, I'm not going to lie. Cause I do go to the art museum on occasion, and I just kinda, yeah, the art museum here is. I just cool. like the paintings. I don't give a shit about the sculptures. I just like looking at a fucking painting. Man, like, they got dang. some cool ones there at that art museum. They got some expensive work there, guy. Let me tell you something, guy. Yeah, art's cool. I could get into that, but nowadays, it's not. I don't know. It seems like everything that's cool is done with. The cool shit gets ended. bought out, gets sold out. Like after it's 2020, nothing's cool anymore. It's just like poop. I don't know. I thought after COVID, when everyone had so much time to sit and work on something, Creative. that we'd actually have like some really good music come out or just like something, but nothing really fucking. There's nothing that really I thought was too spectacular, you know? That's what's like kind of weird. I think it has something to do with the digital age, the fact that you could just make a song right now and post it tonight, and then the whole world can hear it. I don't know, bro. No one's selling CDs anymore. You don't have to go get... You don't even need a fucking record label to, hmm. to distribute your work and all that. You can just be like, fuck that, I'm going to do my own shit. All you need is some Instagram clout. You could just be a TikToker. All of a sudden, you got a million followers... Switch gears, turn into a rapper, boom. Or, yeah, you can be a TikToker, like a lot of the, you know, I'm not going into this. Or but turn into a be comedian, a, boom, well, and no. you're not even funny. Yeah, you can be a TikToker, then you're selling your OnlyFans. That too. You know, I've seen that a lot. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, these comedians, they'll get famous on TikTok to a point where they could sell a comedy show. But it's like, you're not even a comedian, bro. You're not even telling jokes. Like these TikTokers, they just, but they're selling out shows. Like it's just fucking. Peop, the audience doesn't demand too much anymore. I feel like, or maybe, I don't know. Maybe we're on some old head shit. Like the shit ain't the same, man. I Not know, like right? When, when I do you think up, that's kind of like kicking into us? I think like after the iPhone is when we died. Like we just turned into bots. We turned into robots, bro. Bots. We did. It's hard to say. It is. It's really hard to say. But I don't know. I'm still but kind yeah. of drawing such a blank when it comes to all of it. It just it, it fills me up with like yeah. this feeling where I'm just like, man, 
I mean, creativity is always going to be there, but it's like how much people really appreciate the creativity anymore. You know what I think is still pretty cool is interior design, like just designing a nice fucking house Mm. that has style to it. And it's got like a cohesive style. It's not just like, oh, this is modern. This is contemporary. You can't mix styles. You got to like stick to one. Mm. So whenever that day comes, when I get a nice place, I'm going to just do it up nice. You know, that's that's what I'm looking forward to. Man, I tell you what, doing your own place up, man, that's one place I think is always cool is that Touch of Modern. It's a cool website. They got cool stuff on there. Touch of Modern. Mm-hmm. Touchofmodern.com. Ikea.com. Nah, Touch of Modern's got some cool shit on there. It's expensive. But yeah, what's going on in Gonzo land, bro? Man. You cleaned out your brother's car. Oh, gosh, right? How was that? So, uh, you know, for the for the record, right? For the record. So I, uh, I got a call about, you know, probably about midnight 30 on uh sunday morning and uh you know my brother was in town with his wifey and they were uh, out treating their friend for the th- her 30th birthday mm. damn she got a little too drunk on tequila and fucking i got an exact word for it because i don't want to use the 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 throw up word not the v word i got an exact word i used when i was uh talking about it and it's uh Amesis. Amesis. One of their f- her their friend, she gave put all of her, her mesis all Amesis. over the car. Is, and who, uh, who who used that word? You did. It's a medical term. Damn. For the word vomit. And so yeah, it was all over the passenger seat, the passenger door, and under the seat, you know, in the crevices, in the hard to reach areas. So you know, he calls me. You know what I mean? Saying, dude, I don't give a fuck. I'll pay you whatever. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Just do it. I was like, I got you. I got you. You know what I mean? He was. He first said, do you know any friends that have a detailing business? I said, I know of one. That's my friend Kaylee. But Kaylee, he owns a professional detailing service where he mostly details only like the Bengals players' cars. Yeah. And Would he you know, clean up puke? You think they would do that? Probably for like a good dollar. A dollar. Exactly. You're probably going to pay $350, $400 for a job like that. At least. Yeah, exactly. Especially from somebody like my buddy Kaylee. He only yeah. details Lamborghinis, Ferraris, Rolls Royces, Bentleys, you know, expensive Mercedes, Beamers. Yeah. We ain't talking Nissan No, or we ain't talking about Nissans or Hondas, boys. You know. So uh, I told him I'd do it, you know, knowing I'm not going to fucking charge him a shit ton, but I'll be over there at 8 a.m. on Sunday, you know. And so, you know, I get there and all that, and, you know, his wife had the windows up all night, so oh, it, it, it caked. was just stanking. Oh, God, it embedded inside that vehicle, you know, so I brought all over, you know, I brought over my home goods that I brought, you know, I brought an extension cord, I brought a shop vac, I brought fucking a bristle brush, I brought a hot water and Dawn mixture inside of a Tupperware container. I brought over some Lysol spray. I brought over some antibacterial wipes and a sheet thing of paper towels, you know. Mm. So I cleaned it all up. I did the best job I could. I even fucking scrubbed the fucking seat. I scrubbed the carpet underneath. I scrubbed all the areas, the the fucking mat where it was in, you know. I used the Dawn hot water mixture, and then I vacuumed up again after I scrubbed up and after I cleaned it all up. And obviously there's still a stench, and, uh, you know. Obviously, uh, that'll air out in a couple of days. And how I knew it would air out in a couple of days, because you threw up in my niece on the second day. I fucking got it. I, I told him, I said, uh, it'll take about five days to seven days, five to seven business shit. days, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, fucking no, I did. out. I did. I don't think my, I don't know. I didn't like get, I don't know. Maybe no, I did get it. It was a little bit out the window, a little bit on the door. Yeah. That's all it was for you. I was Thank trying you. to open Thankfully, the door. I, <laughs> Your fucking car, like, I'm going to lock all the doors. Now. Yeah, the car auto locks yeah. on you. Just like, <laughs> yeah, so I cleaned it up. The stench was still there. He was a little mad about that. I said, put a California sun under your seat. In a couple of days, it'll be gone. Damn. Damn. Yeah. So. You know. Yeah, exactly. I mean, 
obviously if I had a professional detail business, I would have gotten a fucking impact wrench. You know, I would have taken the, taken the whole seat out of the car. For real. I would have had one of them yeah. fucking Stanley yeah. Steamer vacuum type fuckers and yeah, that reminds you know me. what I mean? I would have tools and shit, but you know, all I did was have my rubber gloves on and my fucking, you know, my stuff, but I cleaned it up. I did the best job possible, you know, but I told him, I said, you know, what, what would you have done if I wasn't there? You know what I mean? You would have been doing it yourself or paying a fucking <laughs> professional to come out and do that. So, but it all worked out. I was thankful to help out, you know. Oh. Thankfully, shit like that doesn't really right. bug me. I'm thankful. Hold on real quick. You're yeah. talking about taking the whole car seat out. I seen this shit before. <laughs> For a perk, I know the feeling. See, if you've been on perks, you know the feeling, bro. You fucking, bro. you miss them. Like, you got them one loose type, you know, shorts on or, you know, bro, fucking any, sweatpants on. They I just drop come out the pocket and Anytime shit. I drop something in my car, I think of that video. He's like, we lost a parka set in the car. <laughs> it's like the whole fucking scene of that motherfucker. That's what but, I'm saying. Uh, so I feel like your brother's one of them guys, and this is just an observation not to be a dick. But, like, I feel like he's one of those guys where, like, nothing's ever just, like, 10 out of 10 for him. He's no. like, well, you could have done this yeah, better. Th yeah, that's my brother. But, like. I don't know. And I told him that and I worded it because <clears throat> he felt like I did him wrong. He gave me, like, Dang. a Dave and Buster's free night the night before, like, the day, like, hours before this happened, you know. He, ga he gave me, like, his Dave and Buster's pass on his phone. Mm. And I was able to download it on my phone. And it's pretty cool. You go to Dave and Buster's now. You don't got to wait in line to, like, upload cash to a fucking thing. You can just do it all from your phone. And look at this shit. I still got it on my phone. Dang. You can just you just tap you put on the, the card in your wallet. Yeah, and you just tap Dang. the machine, and it, and it deducts your chips out of there. Bro, we're in the fucking future now. Oh, yeah. It's cool as fuck. And your Dang. tickets all get uploaded to that, so then you just go to the, the counter. So it was nice. You know, I probably like an $80 value. And, you know, he was uh, kind of, like, upset that I didn't just do it for free mm. after gifting me that the night before. Oh, that's why. So I, I sent him a whole message, Alex. I love you. <laughs> you know, we got it all worked out. It's all good. But, you know, I was like, I understand your way of thinking when it comes to financial stuff. I was like, I don't question you on it. You're allowed to have your own opinion. You know, be but proud of who you are. But even if the puke didn't happen, like, he would have just let you have his card and it would have been good. good. But he's like, nah, she puked, so now, like, you owe me to clean out the car. Yeah, that, <laughs> that, 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 that <laughs> bro. And then he was mean? pissed that it still reeked. Bro. And I was like, bro, I, I gave him the variables. I said, your wife left the windows up all night, so it caked. I said... And then, too, it takes a couple of days, you know what I mean? You like, you, like, took your glasses off slow, and you're like, you know, your wife left the windows up all night. You just, like, put your glasses down a little bit. Yeah, you just, know? just give the camera. Like, you know, man, like, yeah. Like, what do you think it's going to smell like? <laughs> this ain't this ain't a fucking easy job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Reeking, like, fucking high noons and shit. <laughs> And pizza. I knew it's puke and pizza, bro. You know? That's a fucking <laughs> mystery bag. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I got to tell it. I mean, I'm thankful that, again, that stuff doesn't bother me. I'm thankful for that. I don't. It's not even just the being sober aspect. It's like that shit doesn't bother me. You know, it's not work. You know, me have been working at a nightclub and bars and mm. shit, or at the fucking casino where I've smelled alcohol, fucking, Damn. you know, yucky alcohol under bedded yuck, in yuck. the tiles and shit. It's like, no, nah, I think that stems from me when I was a young boy and I field dressed my own deer. I shot. You know, when you got your both your arms inside the carcass of a fucking deer and you got your field dressing knife. On, you know the blade facing away from your fingers and you use your fingers to guide inside the carcass mm. and you can't see it because when you field dress a deer you got your blade like that and you're going up inside the deer into the carcass where you can't see anymore because you're only able to cut out you know so much of the deer and uh you got to grab the fucking esophagus and the windpipe of the deer and you got to fucking cut the windpipe and the esophagus of the deer and you pull it all down and mm. it's like one big membrane all the guts the mm. heart 
mm. the fucking lungs, all everything and the fucking shit, and you pull it all out. You know, obviously after you bone saw the shit, but I think that's where it stems from is, you know, after field dressing a deer in my youth, I like... You can do anything. Yeah, it, like, because that's a stank, too. And it depends on where you shoot the deer. Mm. You always want to aim for a fucking, you know, a heart shot or a lung shot. It's a certain part right over the shoulder blade of the deer as a deer hunter. Wade, you know what I'm talking about. Hey. But because if you miss, you shoot a deer down here, it's it's going to stink bad. It's going to mm. smell like the corn and the poop they've been yeah. eating. You know what I mean? Shot it it smells worse. Yeah. So, like, even though, even if you get a clean shot in the heart, you know, guts got to smell to them. They do. They got a, this shit got a stank to it. So that stank being embedded in my nose, like knowing mm. what that smells like when I think of that smell right now, it's like you guys think of a good hot pizza. You know, the aroma, the aroma of a hot pizza. You know, you think of Skyline Chili, you walk Arousing. in the door, <laughs> fucking you smell that shit. So I think that's just, that's kind of helped me out with Damn. my guts. Like I don't really get too, uh, you know, queasy or g- grossed out when I see blood either. I'm pretty good about that. I can I can be like, it's all right. It's just blood. Clean it up. You know, It'd be all right. Damn. But yeah, it was That's it was up. it was a fucking yucky disaster. But I you wonder know. what that her friend was just like. I'm sorry. Oh no, I even talked to his wife because I had to drive all with all my materials over to his wife's parents' house to clean it out in the morning. Mm. And, you know, I always said to her, I was like, does she even know she threw up in your car last night? She's like, I haven't sent her the text yet. <laughs> Fucking, like, think about that. You're just going to, oh, I did that. I'm, I'm so sorry. sorry. Oh, my God. She was Hope you got to clean that. She was Just feeling thinking about, good. like, that one chick who was off the Xanax. Like, oh, my God, I'm so proud of you. It's <laughs> <laughs> like that vibe. Just like, I'm so <laughs> sorry. Oh, my God. Like, just while she's, like, on speaker, just scrolling Facebook, like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. Damn. You know, that type of vibe, I guess. I don't know. I think she's a good person. but Yeah. They're good people. I mean, it's just, like, the fact of, like... I don't think... Yeah, never mind. People don't... Girls don't get repercussions, mostly. You know, women don't get repercussions nah. when they fuck up. The man's always got to take the repercussions. Yeah. You know what I mean? A woman, she fucking... Oh, my God, I totaled my car. Like, it's then the, they just call the, her It's dad. a man driving the tow truck. It's a man in the body shop fixing the fucking thing. It's a man fucking at the insurance it's dealing a man's with... Like, world. I mean, it's like the women don't really get too many repercussions when they fuck up. Nah. It's like the they get off thing. easy if they do. Yeah, they, they get, get off, off a lot easier. They get off they a like lot easier. They like flash a titty or something. Oh, and you're dude, good. you you pulled over for speed and you're a hot blonde with a C cup. You got it's your tits over. out. Oh, you're good. You're good. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, let me just give you a warning real let me quick. Get your Snapchat. Yeah, <laughs> and a warning. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll see you at fucking M H T. Yeah, I'll see. You. <laughs> Jeez, M H T. What is MLT? Or, I mean, I'll see you at MLT's, MLT's yeah, cocksucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Say yeah. about 7.30 Friday night. Okay, I'll be there. Okay. Damn. Yeah, not to be like, not to bring some misogyny into the mm. pod keys, do you know what be, I mean? But like, it's damn, fucking, it's kind of true just it from is, a standpoint. It is, like, it they, is just, like, they just get off on they shit. Get off. You can't get them off, but no. they can get off. No. You know what I mean? I mean, you Back know, to the squirt squirt. But Yeah, a good relationship, you know. I mean, a woman will pay for dinner here and there and pay yeah. for stuff. Yeah, but when? like, it's usually a man. <laughs> when? <laughs> yeah. I want to know when. It's usually the man that fucking does all the driving. They'll pay but, like 25% no, percent of the meal. Not true. We good. 25% but, of the time. Yeah. You'll get, you know. So it's, she'll get you something. It's wild, though. You know what it's I mean? It's fucked out here. It's different. It's real it's different. different. I mean, other than that, I mean, I had a pretty good weekend, you know. I got to I drove up to the Wright Patterson Air Force Base, Dang. the museum. I got to go see that. It was the most packed I've ever seen that place in my entire life. I mean, I tell you what, it was it was fucking packed up there. It was cool to go see the planes again. I, w- I was up there about like a year plus ago when I took some uh previous clients up there on mm-hmm. a little field trip, a little Saturday outing. But yeah, that Wright Patterson Air Force Museum, that's a good time. That's a good time to go up there and go walk through what the Air that? Force One, JFK. What flew city on. is that in? Dayton. Dayton. That's pretty close. Oh yeah, that's a good time. It's a it's a national museum like the Smithsonian's in DC, mm. so it's free. Unlike Union Terminal, you got to pay to go to our museum. I haven't been there since I was a kid. Yeah. The art museum's free. Our museum's free. Hype and art. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, no, there's just some, you know, random little things to, you know, there's always still some things to go do. Yeah, if you want to do shit, you got to leave town. Yeah. I think. You got to usually typically leave town, go somewhere. It's all good, though. It's all good. Yeah, I'm thinking. I mean, it's got us all kind of, uh, once we get our bands up, it's like, are we staying in Cincy or not? Right. <clears throat> I don't know. Depends on your situation. That's crazy. People are always like, if you're from Cincinnati, you 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 stay in Cincinnati. You pretty much do. Yeah. But it's like, mm, it's not fun. I mean, it's different. Obviously, you go out west, there's different landscape out there. You go anywhere else, it's a different landscape. There's different things. It's cheap to, to live here. That's the plus. Yeah. So it's like a trade-off. Oh, I want to move to New York. There's so much happening. But it ain't cheap. Mm. Same with L.A. Like not cheap, not cheap. So that you that, gotta have that's a nice your slider to get around. Too. I think you just come to Cincinnati to make money and then like try to get the fuck out. I think Man. that's the point. You come here to make money. That's what it's all about. What do they call us? We're like the city of what? We're just like the city. Because Detroit's like what the city of steel or some shit. Oh, that's Pittsburgh. <laughs> Pittsburgh. <laughs> yeah. Detroit's the fucking. Uh, they Isn't call it the 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 not auto city. motor city motor city. What's what are yeah Jamie? What are we? The Queen City. The Queens and like what does that even mean? Or Porkopolis. They're just like yeah, we got pigs. Yeah, we for real are Porkopolis. We got hot dogs and chili. We got Geta and shit. Like, yeah, I guess we're just known for food. Was that beer. our like what was Cincinnati known for exporting? That's well, a it good was, one. Uh, port city. It was a. Because we got the river. Because we got the river. It was a big city for business back in like the 80s. This was like mini New York. It's like you mm. came here to work mm. downtown. Yeah, I think it was the biggest city in the Midwest mm. at one point. Mm. Yeah, and then they just kind of like fell off. Dude, our city is like the, the, just like the, 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 mile, the square mile radius or whatever you want to call it. I don't even know it's if that's a term, square mile radius. <clears throat> it's tiny. It is like a. It's not that big. It's not that I. It's not that I hate it, but it's just like, damn. There's so much more out there, bro. And it there's kind of so pisses much. me off, like how we. There's a lot of abandoned stuff. You know, it could be getting utilized and be like modernized, like the banks type of vibe. But like this building, close to us, they got plans to make it big, like it's luxury condos. Yeah, that's all anything is. Is they build condos. It was uh. Exporting pork products and hay, Damn. it became it became the center. Cincinnati became the center of pork processing Damn. in the region. And uh, from 1810 to 1830, the population uh, tripled. I got I got to search up some. I got to show you something cool real quick, like real cool. This is uh. <coughs> yeah, I'm on the phone at my job and I talk to these people in like florida or just all over the u.s and they're like where are you from i'm just like cincinnati ohio and they're like oh i used to work over there back in like the 90s or some shit so this was like a big business town not too long ago and then i guess shit just fell off i don't know what happened while he's doing his Googles, what else we know about Cincinnati? I had to show you At this because this is Detroit. actually pretty cool. We're not Detroit. Uh, I think this is like maybe your family owned this. So this was uh, Schulte's Garden at 4400 River Road at Anderson Ferry. And it was literally uh, a tavern and a, uh, a fucking uh, like a, a market. Mm. Obviously the west side. Like they had five cent like tokens, Jack Salmon, Schulte's Garden. It's a restaurant. German, I'm assuming. Yeah. That's cool as shit though. Like, look at the like logo. It's like Schultes. Oh, the a vibe. I know. <laughs> See, like I wonder if that was like your great grandpap or something. Maybe. Great great truck great. stop. Schulte's chicken in the basket. I saw that one scrolling. 1940 at Schulte's Garden, 4400 River Road. Shows Fred yeah. Schulte, the late Albert Schulte. Isn't, aren't we, so we're known for being like a German town. So everyone yeah. came over here on from the Rhine River in mm. Germany. So then it became over the Rhine. 
Suave is like, damn, that's power. That's your family. I, it's funny because I, I could be related to those people, but like if someone comes up to me, they'll be like, are you related to this? No, no, I don't know any of those people. My grandpa was the only person I know, and he was an only child. And there's no others outside of just my small family. Mm-hmm. They'll be like, no, but you know Emma, right? I'm like, I don't fucking know Emma. But why did everyone come here from Germany? I'm just wondering. Do we know that? Porkopolis. <laughs> Looks like it's iPhone hour on the podcast. Yeah, I was just kind of like uh, going through this. It's pretty crazy. Oh, my God. Look what I have. This is a picture of Sifki's Market. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Sifke's yeah, market there you too. go. Which I believe in Cincinnati. My great parents yeah. met there in the early 1900s. Damn. In the 1830s, Cincinnati's boom in the meat packing and shipping industry brought local refugees here. Bro, I had a market. My family had a market. <laughs> we had Schulte's Bro. Garden. Sifke's Bro. Market. Yeah. It's like you think they're About your family. Because you can search this. It's a Facebook page. It's called Old Photos of Cincinnati. And people just post like so much historic knowledge of Cincinnati. Bro, I'm about starting to, to think we rules. fell off. Like we used to be lit back oh. in the day. Since he fell off. Oh, your dad is a uh, a member of Old Photos in Cincinnati, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking sweet. But yeah, I love the German history. Sure. I'll tell you that. Sprechensee dick. Jawohl. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's pretty wild. I mean, the only thing nowadays, it's like, when you think of Cincinnati, other than like the main food restaurants and stuff, it's just like... Chili. Bro, we're just chill, chili. Chili. Chili and beer. Like, that's it. Chili and beer. And chili's like, okay. It's like... What's Dude, so, I want, what's I so want, special like, about it, though? It kind of pisses me off. You know how much, like, my love for, like, zero beer, you know? I got the Heineken, the Stella, the Bud, zero. You know what I mean? I've got the Peronis now. I got, like, you know, like, when the fuck can I get, like, a, a Rheingeist 0.0? You know what I mean? Like, that kind of pisses me off. I want to see a fucking uh, Mad Tree 0.0. I want to see a fucking, you know... A more line 0.0. When the fuck are they going to come back, you know, for inner Cincinnati yeah. sober community? No, I feel like there's more and more N.A. coming out. Beers. Yeah, N.A., the <laughs> 0.5, but like the 0, 0. That's what I'm saying. Totally zero. That's what Dang. I'm looking forward to. I need I need a Cincy company to step the fuck up. Someone on Reddit was capping on us. They said, our chili looks like a garbage plate with meat sauce. Damn. And some dude commented, I love a garbage plate. Yeah. Especially when they serve it on styrofoam. Dang. Even if you ordered it to go or not. Dang. But yeah. I don't know. I'm like Skyline's good, but it's not like come to Cincy, try our fucking chili. That's not how I think of it. I mean, that's what people do though when they come here for the first time. They got to try it. That's all they know And you about. either love it or you fucking hate it. You're like, what is this garbage? Yeah, if you're from another chili town and you're just like, nah, Texas our chili's style better. chili. We got kidney beans in our chili. Mm-hmm. Nung. <laughs> I mean, Skyline chili is kind of just like slop if you think about it. Like, you could drink that shit. It's just like put it oh, in a cup dude, and drink it. That's some different shit. That's like, it's like negative 20 out. Like, hot cup of chili. <laughs> 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 that's the like, warm up eating chili <laughs> <laughs> drinking chili you got it in Bro, your thermos that's fucking disgusting <laughs> with some cheese in there too you're at melted. the fucking old steel mill you're like Dave come over let me pour you a cup you think it's coffee but it's <laughs> chili <laughs> like nah we in Cincinnati <laughs> fucking smoking cigarettes <laughs> drinking chili <laughs> Bro. I'm really trying to dissect and figure it out I mean, but it looks dude. like Texas chili is uh is our uh, competitor for some reason Texas chili? Oh yeah, and then you also got this one like Sonic chili dogs. That's just like a chili paste. You know what I mean? Like actual chili dogs that they had back in the day. You probably go to New York, you get a chili dog. It's like that, just like chili paste. Did you know they put a skyline in Florida? Yeah, Money. they got a couple. They got a couple. Why'd they do? Yeah, they that? got one in Orlando. They got one down in like you know, I don't know if it's Clearwater. Or I don't know where the fuck it's at. 
Dude. Yeah, there used to be a Graders in Las Vegas. My brother told us that. That's vibe, yeah. It used to be in either Caesars or fucking, I don't know where it was, in the Venetian or the fucking... Did you hear the myth about chocolate being in the chili? Yeah, supposedly it's cocoa powder a little bit in well, Skyline. They say, no, that's not true. Mm. People think of a Hershey's chocolate bar in what there. about Sam Adams and a Have you ever had any of them? I have. I have. It's got 0. 0.5, which yeah. I, try, so I, I tend to refrain say, from those. Everyone talks about Rheingeis here, but Sam Adams employs more people in this city than Rheingeis does. Oh, I believe mm. that. Yeah, Sam Adams Brewery right over there on mm-hmm. fucking, is it Central or Liberty? Oh, Liberty, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Sam Adams is pretty good. I've had that. I just feel more pure when I drink the 0.0s. I just feel more at ease in my mind. It's not to say I'm, like, breaking any fucking rules of sobriety, but it's just, like, the 0.5s. Like, I kind of get full on those. Those are, like, a heavier beer. 0.0s, I feel like I can drink two or three, and I'm like, all right, I'm good. Why since he's such a big beer city? Germans. That's why. That's what I'm that's thinking. That's all it is. I mean, you German got... German and Irish. You don't got just like your Mad Tree, your Moorline, and then your Rheingeist, you know. You got like all the little small breweries too. Uh, Brink. Westside. Yeah. Did you say Westside? Yeah, oh, no. No, you got Westside Brewery. That's right. 50 Six, West. Yeah. Mm. 16 lots in Mason. Yeah. There's one in fucking, uh, what's the, Silverton? There's one yeah, in Silverton. Uh, what is that? Forget the name of it. You got what's you got the one over here that's not a Cincy brewery, but they brew it here. Mad Dog? Or not Mad Dog. Mad Tree? Not Mad Tree. Fretboard? Uh, uh, what's, it's right next to the casino. Highwire, Hofbro House. Hmm. I forgot Hofbro. Westerman's, Little Miami. No, it's right over next to the casino. Moreline. March 1st. Hudipol. Yeah, I forgot. Hudipol's not a car there, brewery yet. I'm thinking of. Uh, Sonder? Brew Dog. Brew yeah. Dog. Yeah, Brew, Brew Dog. Streetside Brewery. Dude, the, yeah, that's what Taffs. I'm saying. Tafts. Tafts, yeah. Tafts is right. Third Eye. Weedeman. You got Weedeman. Urban yeah. Artifact. <laughs> High Grain. Big Ash. Big Ash. Yeah, I mean, there's a fuck ton, but you go to those, and it's like, obviously, they'll have, like, one beer that imitates, like, your Budweiser, your Miller Lite. It's like, what's the what's the one that produces the garage beer? Is that fucking, yeah. is that Mad Tree, or is that? I think that's Mad Tree. And then, like, the fucking uh, Ryan Geist produces Scentsy Light. Braxton Garage Beer. Scentsy Light is, like, <coughs> yeah, like, a, like a, your lager type of beer. Um... A lot of those are filled with IPAs and shit. IPA beer is dog shit. God, I hated IPAs when I would drink. Those things are just fucked. Your IPA drinker is a weird fucker. I, I picture an IPA drinker. She's got the mustache, like that twirls and shit right here. You know what I mean? Slick back hair, maybe. Fucking wearing fucking Converse. Fucking weird Doc Martens, not your traditional black Doc Martens, but your weird ones. Yellow. Yellow. Dang. Yellow Doc Martens. That would turn me off. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's got like the one, what's the beanies that like the fucking like weird people wear? They're like the like not full ass beanie. They're like the skull beanie that's like short. They say anyone who voted for Trump is a racist. Damn. They're saying that now? They say that. Really? For sure. IPA drinkers? Oh, those are IPA drinkers are Biden. I was on, yeah, they are yeah. Democratic. Oh, yeah. I was on Facebook and I was just reading comments about Trump. Apparently, the black community is like supporting him now, pretty yeah. heavily, heavily. Oh, yeah. And I just felt good about it. Yeah. They're like, put our president back in, give us the stimulus. But yeah, that's people just thought the they were getting fucked stimulus. with Avondale now. Damn, he put Avondale on the map. Who Trump? He put Avondale on the <laughs> map. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing to Avondale? I don't know. He's like, Avondale is a very nice place. They've got a good community. Good supporting. Damn. On the 
political front today. Former President Trump was on the campaign trail in the battleground state of Ohio. The Buckeye State is friendly territory for Trump. He won there in 2016 and mm. 2020. Mm. I thought they were the playing the presidential in music Dayton. in the background. He the crowd, ding, 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 ding. speculating what would happen if he loses the upcoming presidential election. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole... That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. Today's appearance comes just one day okay. after Trump's former vice president... That's all he had to say was just like, if I lose, <laughs> y'all are fucked. <laughs> we like, already know that. You think I don't have resources f that stem all the way from Vegas all the way to New York? Bro. People will go missing. But he's right, though. Oh, yeah. Like, even last election, he was like, yep, you're going to see a depression like you never saw before. He said if that. You put Biden in. And look where we're at. Inflation, bud. Damn. It's, it's fucking $6 I, I, hey, for a bag I, of I Cheetos. I went to a local market right by my work over here in downtown today. And uh, I bought a unsweetened green tea. <clears throat> 350 three ninety nine for a fucking unsweetened. And you pay it because it's just like, so well, that's the price, the price now. now. I got to pay it. I wanted a Damn. fucking tea. Damn. Yeah. There's no cheaper option. 60 a gallon. Oh, we, there good. we go. Blacks for Trump. There we go. Damn, we should make those shirts and sell for another few minutes. All right, we're good. We're tapping in. We were just, uh, we had a technical difficulty. It's all good. Those type of ordeals happen in life. When a technical difficulty happens in your life, don't trip. But don't yeah. fall. Just get up. Just to uh, decompress and ease out for the folks. Yes. Talked about a lot today. Yeah, we kind of got a lot on the table. It was pretty nice. We were able to go over some different measurements and, uh, you know, really just put a broad scale on there. Yeah, I like coming in and not knowing what the fuck we're going to talk about. I know. It's pretty nice. Just adds that extra, like, what's it going to be? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what it's about. But, yeah. Anything else to add? No, nah, we're uh we're pretty good. I think I'm gonna I'll try to acquire a guest for our next week. Try to get yep, get our Zaz going. Zaz. It's always nice when we bring in a guest like every couple weeks or something. It's yeah. just like to set us back. And then I like uh, I like I like I like yeah. T over here. You guys can, he's kinda got like an interview f vibe to him and it's fire. He just be like, So what's your main purpose then? <laughs> What That's do you what I do. really want to That's what I do. I interview mostly comedians. It's fire. On some like... Obviously... I, on some like Adam 22 shit is how I see it. That's how I view it. The Brewers are at the Reds right now, downtown. Nice. Hey, we might go watch some. Yeah, we'll go down there. But yeah. But yeah, when you have a... Uh, when you have a guest, it brings in a different crowd of people. It does. They want to sniff it out. Viewers, they want to like. They want to sniff his butt like a dog and just check him out, see what he's all about. <laughs> and uh, sometimes it's good or bad. <laughs> sometimes it's better without. Sometimes better with. You never mm -hmm. know. Factual. It's like a female. It's like can't live with him. Can't, can't live, live without him. So, mm. anyways, that was my ten cents. We got inflation. That was my 15 cents. Damn, bro. I just got to dust these <coughs> off. Put that on my lap for real. Just got to, like, dust that no, I got to water them down. Damn. They got a little off. bar beer on them. It's got some splat on it. It has got some yeah. Michelob dropped on the ground. I'm just splash. treating these like they're fucking, like, whatever's. They're cozy, Jack. I'm just treating them like they're, they're whatever. But, yep. Yeah. All right. All right, everybody. By the time y'all listen to this, y'all already still be balls deep in COD season three. So get your ass on Search and Destroy and get your ass rolling down the road or in the shower with the JBL like mm. Hurley listening to this podcast. Thanks. So have a good rest of your week. Eat well. Sleep well. Smoke well if you do it. Drink well mm. if you do that. Mm. Fuck well. If you do it. If you do it. And uh, yeah. Have a good rest of your week. We're going to tap in with you here next week. Next time. And we're going to bring some more Zazzy Zazz. All right. Peace. Peace. James, peace. 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 <laughs> <laughs>